Hey Aries, I hope you all are doing well. Uh, this is going to be your general March love reading. We're going to go over you, uh, your person, your situation, what's influencing the situation, um, and then we're going to go over potential outcomes. Then we'll go from Aries to Pisces and see how everybody's feeling towards you and what their intentions are in uh, the month of March. So that'll be like how the Aries feels, what their intentions are, how the Taurus feels, what their intentions are, and so on, okay? All right, Aries, let's get into it. If anyone approaches you in the comment section offering a personal reading, it is not me i will never offer you a personal reading down there or in any kind of direct message uh, on any social media platforms or anything of that nature i do have personals i have a march special going on right now um and i also have a love reading going on right now everything's in the description for anyone who's interested that's the only place you're going to find any information about my readings okay all right aries let's see what we have for you how are you feeling here in this situation where do you stand some of you are involved with the Pisces, maybe somebody who has Venus in Pisces or Venus in Virgo. You don't have to be involved with those signs, but um, those are the energies of these cards here. I feel like you may be feeling kind of stuck, okay, um, in the situation that you're in. Now, the Nine of Pentacles can say that you're enjoying yourself, enjoying your singlehood, but it can also say that you're just enjoying what's, what's going on in general. The Hangman is here. What is this? Ten of Cups. Okay. Yeah, so maybe it's not that you're stuck here with the, you know, with the hangman showing up. I honestly kind of feel like you're surrendering to, uh, you know, freedom and independence, but also within a connection. It feels really healthy. It feels really good. Okay, ten of cups is literally, uh, I, I consider it the second happiest card in the deck. The sun would be the first, but um, yeah, this is showing up for where you stand. So it seems like you're either one very happy with your singlehood here, um, but you know, I feel like for most of you, it's going to be number two. You're kind of surrendering, um, you know, to independence, but within a connection. It, it feels really healthy. What about this person here? Six of Cups is showing up for how your person is feeling. You have a history with this person is how this feels here, Aries. Uh, it could be an Aquarius. Uh, I've got Scorpionic energy here as well, but it looks like a clean slate. You know, breaking away from old, old patterns, old habits is how this is looking to me. Five of Wands, yeah, breaking away from this energy is how your person is looking. They may feel like there is some conflict with you um, that you're trying to escape, like you're trying to get away from this conflict. They're trying to address it. It could be the past. Maybe they're bringing up the past or asking questions about the past. Could be something like that, but I feel like they are genuinely do this to wipe the slate clean is kind of how this feels to me. Somebody here could have Saturn in Leo, Saturn in Scorpio, or Saturn in Aquarius. Let's see what the situation is between the two of you because it looks a little bit tense. Loving, but a little bit tense here. Yeah, you have the devil. That tension is spot on, huh? Uh, there have been some secrets, okay? Pisces energy again with the, um, with the uh, high priestess. Capricorn energy with the devil. Taurus energy with the king of pentacles. Maybe if somebody had some secret, um, you know, money issues. It's possible that a that a person was involved at some point in the past, and somebody's asking questions about that. Uh, you know, I don't think this person's in the picture anymore. Uh, you have the Five of Cups here, so I think that an ending had happened there already. Uh, the devil showing up. Somebody could have had, you know, maybe bad spending habits or maybe substance issues. You know, the devil can kind of talk about codependency, and we did have that Nine of Pentacles show up for your energy. So, yeah, I feel like the both of you had something going on here. Somebody... Um, feeling like maybe they're tied to something or they have some kind of really, really poor habit and somebody else having a different secret here. So, um, yeah, that's, that's the situation. So let's see what's influ what influenced that, what influenced that situation there? What's going on with this? What's influencing this situation? I do feel like, you know, with the King of Pentacles energy showing up, like, um, you know, there's a, when the King of Pentacles shows up, that has a lot to do with, uh, something steady, something reliable, something stable. So I feel like things are on track here. We're going to see what's influencing that. You know, for the most part, I feel like things are on track. Um, you do have the world card showing up. You have the four pinnacles and you have the tower. The world can talk about closing cycles. So yeah, I think that uh, you're closing something that was hard to let go of. I think this person was closing something that was hard to let go of. Um, you know, it's almost like there was a big life change here with the world showing up. Um, like you had to sacrifice your uh, comfortability or familiarity or something like that. And I feel like it caused this chaos. You know, it caused this uh, like isolation, if you will. And I think that's what led to this path of like, um, you know, hiding things, you know, secrets and things of that nature. So I think that's what uh, led to this is some kind of big life change that was really hard to handle. Okay, so let's see there's anything else for you to know here Aries about this situation I feel like you drifted from someone maybe got involved elsewhere and now you're trying to rec reconcile something here like you drifted because of some big life differences possibly what's going on here what does Aries need to know 
Knight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, okay? There is some growing to do here. With the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Wands, whether male or female in this situation doesn't matter. Um, you know, somebody's got some growing to do, right? And I've Honestly, I feel that it's the both of you because the knights are kind of in the middle. You know, at least you're not in the pages, right? Pages are like the children of the court cards. It's like the very, very beginning of something, right? So then the knights are kind of like the adolescents of the court cards, and then you have the queens and the kings who are like, you know, um, at the very top of the at the very top of the chain when it comes to the court cards. But you have the ten of pentacles here as well. So there are improvements to be had. Okay, so that's something that's important to recognize. Like something could take a lot of work, but I think you're going to get there. You know, you're going to get to the king and queen um, position. Let's see here what else we have. Knight of Wands showing up as well. Like, things are not going to be perfect. Things are going to be up and down here. It's kind of the energy that I'm sensing, but it's it's not going to be how it was. Yeah, Two of Swords. I think the big takeaway here is not to be closed off to this, okay? Because, yeah, this could be your forever soulmate here, Aries. I mean, you have the Empress. Uh, you did have that Ten of Pentacles. I just think that there's a lot to uncover. There's a lot to unpack here. You have the uh, Two of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Moon showing up, okay? So, three. Oh, goodness gracious. Let me pick it up three moon cards here okay moon and libra moon and cancer and then the moon itself somebody could have their moon and cancer or their moon in pisces uh like i said moon and libra we've got the empress here with uh, the taurus and the libra card but you know there's still a lot of growth to be had here the empress is a card of fertility pregnancy creation abundance so um i do think that there's still a lot to unpack like i said a lot of secrets all right you have the knight of swords here and the ten of swords this could be with the gemini for a small portion of you what's this knight of swords and ten of swords about what is it Seven of Wands, the Justice card, the Eight of Cups, it's past energy. It's something somebody has walked away from or somebody needs to block something or someone. Okay, somebody may need to block someone here. Could be an issue from the past. Like, I don't want that to come back up. You know, I don't want this to, this to occur. I feel like there could be a lot of rules, stipulations, things of that nature. Aries, as you reconcile something uh, with a person here is kind of how this feels to me with justice showing up. Um, yeah, it's like, it's about righting your wrongs, but I feel like it's on both ends here. Um, so... Let's go here. Uh, crazy connection here, Aries. But I do feel like you're reconciling something um, with someone that you've drifted from. What's going on with the Aries here towards the Aries in March? The Chariot and the Six of Swords. Four movement, four movement all around. Okay, so if you're standing in a situation with an Aries and you're doing well, this is progression. If you're in a situation with an Aries and things are going poorly, this is moving forward from it, okay? Making a decision to move forward from it. How about the Taurus? Taurus find you very, they think very highly of you, okay? Um, they find you very valuable, okay? And they feel very valued by you, Ace of Pentacles. Taurus is going to make an offer. Looks like offering a date or something of that nature. How about Gemini towards Aries? Page of Pentacles. Gemini wants to take things slow, but ultimately, I do. they may feel trapped in something here. The Gemini might. They might feel trapped in something, Aries. But that Page of Pentacles, I feel like they do want to take things slow. Like things are just starting off with the Gemini. If this part's for you, the Emperor is showing up as their actions in November. I feel like they're going to take initiative and things may speed up slightly. Um, but yeah, I think they're wanting to be a little bit cautious. They could have been hurt in the past and they're just trying to ease into this. How about Cancer? Cancer may feel trapped in something or they feel like you are inaccessible is kind of the energy that I feel here. Cancer may feel like you're inaccessible, like they can't get to you, okay? Queen of Wands is showing up as their intentions here. Um, cancer could be playing a little bit of a, a mind game with you here. Like they're trying to call you in, you know, be in this energy of like confidence and just, you know, radiating. It's almost, it's, it's borderline obnoxious, the energy the Cancer's in, but they're trying to call you in is basically what I'm feeling there. How about the Leo? For Aries, Ace of Wands. The Leo may want something new, okay? Uh, or feeling like you want something new. Five of Swords is showing up as their action, so it's feeling like a tit for tat, okay? How about Virgo? The Hermit. And the Five of Cups is showing up as their intentions here. Virgo, I think, is withdrawing, okay? They're grieving it, but they're withdrawing. They may feel like it's done, it's over. How about Libra towards Aries? Page of Wands. Libra wants to talk about something, but they're not, okay? They may feel like you were... Libra might feel like you're kind of doing a lot here, Aries. Libra might feel like you are all over the place, maybe with others. You know, it's not clear if they have any proof of this or if this is just what they're assuming so they can feel better about withdrawing from it. Um, but that's the kind of vibe I'm sensing from the Page of Wands. They feel like you're adventurous or you hop around. Uh, they want something with you, but they're going to withdraw instead with the Hermit is kind of how this feels. Libra doesn't trust you for some reason. How about Scorpio? 
Scorpio is definitely thinking about you. They feel like you're thinking about them as well. The chariot is showing up as their actions here. So um, Scorpio could be at a distance. I honestly see them trying to move on from this, but they're, they're still thinking about it for whatever reason. I feel like this, this Scorpio is replaying things in their head. How about Sagittarius? Magician. Sagittarius feels like they got what they wished for here. I feel like they're keeping that from you for some reason, okay? With the magician showing up is how they're feeling. They may kind of feel like you're going to use their feelings against them. So I, I feel that energy coming from the Sagittarius. They're like, you know, I want to I want to say how I feel towards Aries, but I feel like Aries is going to use that against me or they're going to, you know, try to control the situation on some level. So they're being secretive about their feelings here. How about Capricorn? Hmm. Capricorn feels like they've been trying to manifest you here with the uh, magician showing up. They've been trying to call you in for a while, but the lovers is showing up as their actions here. So uh, I do feel like they're coming towards you at the same time. It's like you're meeting one another in the middle. So the bond is strengthening here is how this feels with the Capricorn. How about Aquarius? Aquarius feels like you're trying to move on from this. So I feel like Aquarius is trying to get closer to you. It's like the more that you take space, the more the Aquarius kind of inches towards you. And it's odd because I feel like they've been the one distant. Okay, so how about the Pisces? How about the Pisces here? Seven of Cups and the Four of Cups showing up for the Pisces. Pisces is feeling very confused about where the two of you stand. Um, it feels like they're looking at different options here, trying to figure out what to decide. Okay, so Pisces seems like they're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place here. Four of Cups is showing up as their uh, intentions. They're going to get a little bit quiet. I don't think they're going to go ghost completely, but I feel like they're going to get a little bit quiet on you while they try to figure things out, sort things out. Still messages here, but I feel like things are very short, you know, uh, to the point. That's kind of how this feels with the Pisces. So that's what I'm seeing, Aries. I do have personals open. Um, you can check me out on Patreon as well. Details are down below. Remember that if anyone approaches you in the comments, it is not me, okay? Or in a direct message on any social media platform, it is not me, Aries, okay? Everything you need on my personal readings that I offer is in the description box, okay? If this is where we part, Aries, thank you all for watching and supporting me this far. I really appreciate you guys, and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.